James Comey's credibility has been brought into question on multiple occasions during the Clinton investigation and here. Look, that's ultimately the special counsel has to weigh that. I think it shows uh, how questionable his character is that he would take uh, conversations that he had with the president of the United States, which should be protected under executive privilege, and then he gave them to a friend to leak to the New York Times. I'm calling for an end to the investigations about the president, tr president Trump's campaign colluding on the, with the Russians. There's been no evidence of it. I don't think that should continue. This is the total integrity of the President of the United States. This is a very big deal, Brianna. It should be all hands on deck. There's a whole series of issues about the President's conduct. Does it constitute a pattern of trying to get uh, pressure relieved off of this investigation? So if it's the word of James Comey, versus the word of Donald Trump, who gets the benefit of the doubt? Look, in this circumstance, if he's got evidence of collusion, bring it forward. If he's got evidence of corruption, of obstruction, bring it forward. I have yet to see anything. Do you agree with this conclusion that the president has reached that there was no evidence of collusion? You know, we haven't seen any of that whatsoever, George. Uh, we've been looking and, and showing everything that uh, they possibly have. Uh, that has not led to that. There's a lynch mob mentality about the Trump uh, administration in the press. They're about as fair as a lynch mob, but these tweets that he does feeds that lynch mob. You're your own worst enemy here, Mr. President. Knock it off. The president's the most powerful man in the world. His words really, really matter, whether it comes to foreign policy, whether it comes to domestic policy, whether it comes to this investigation. The fact that he's new, the fact that he may not say things so seriously, that's not an excuse. He's the president of the United States and he's got to step up to the plate. The president clearly does not fully understand or appreciate the boundaries, but he should. I'm not excusing his behavior, but I'm saying that there were a lot of people in government who should have set him straight.